love monsters. I love monsters. I, I work with one. You know, that's our legacy here at Universal Studios. Classic horror movies. Because it all started right here on this location with the 1923 silent film classic, a bunch of back and forth, fairly out of track, you Frankenstein, the invisible man, creature from the Black Lagoon. We have to slow down yet. When you were walking on our back lot, you were literally following in the footsteps of some horror masters. We had Karloff, Lugosi, Hitchcock. In fact, did you know, in Psycho, the shower scene, Alfred Hitchcock used chocolate syrup for blood. I didn't know that. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> Very funny. Well, up to Steve. Nowadays, movie blood has to look a lot more realistic. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to show you some of Matt's blood. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. You are not going to cut off my arm. I'm not going to cut it off. Okay. I'm going to slice it like deli meat. Oh, no, dude. I need my arm. <laughs> Who's going to help us with the demonstration? <laughs> Nancy! Come here! Come on down, Nancy! Now, don't worry, Nancy. We're not going to use this big, scary knife, okay? I'll take the camera. We're going to use something much sharper to get through the bone. Come here. There you go. Let's oh, put this lap in on this. There we go. Don't want to ruin your shirt with all your blood. I don't see why we put two <laughs> sleeves on that coat. <laughs> all right, put your arm right there for me, face up, just like that. Oh, that beautiful arm. Kiss it goodbye. Here we go. Hang on. I have to remind the kids, please don't try this at home. Yeah. Try it at a friend's house. <laughs> all right. Oh, you know what? Nancy, I need to hear a blood-curdling scream. Suddenly someone's a director. Wow, interesting. Oh, then you can wait till I'm actually chopping your arm off. <laughs> That's yeah. good. Oh, that sounds good to me. And yeah. by the way, if you're a little bit squeamish, you might want to look away. And if you're really squeamish, look at the side screens, because you're going to pass out. Here we go. Hold still. <laughs> It's a Hollywood blood knife, everyone. It's just pretend. This is a classic cinematic horror technique. This is a false blade right here. There's a notch cut out. It goes right over her arm. The handle is full of movie blood, and when I squeeze it, it makes a glorious mess. But the effect doesn't work well unless you have a good actress, and we have the best. Let's have a huge round of applause for our very great volunteers. That is Nancy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Second. Let's let's get a picture of her in the monsters. Okay, yeah, let me see how you have more time. Really, like so I'll make a great Christmas card. There you go. Yeah, I'll take the camera. Give me the camera. The camera pose are over there. Nancy, come on over here. This will be a treasure keep. I see it like uh, oh, right here for me, just like uh, so. Yeah, hang on here. There you go. Give me a little pivot. There you go. I like it. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, and. Oh! Oh, is that you bring smile? That's good. That's good. You in the dress with the knife, please take off that mask. Who are you? <gasps> Jerry! <laughs> no high fives. <laughs> does he always wear a dress? Yes, is her question. Yes, is the answer. No. Alright, look, you should be ashamed of yourself. She's from Utah. People from Utah are nice people. When you look Nancy in the eye, you say you're sorry. You're sorry, Jerry. <laughs> she is definitely not sorry. She was awesome. Give her a big, big round of applause. If you wanted to be in the show, dude, all you have to do is ask. Matt, can you please be in the show? No! Oh. Really? Alright, you guys want Jerry to be in the show? Oh, okay. <laughs> you can be in the show. In fact, go backstage, tell him you're doing mocap. We're doing mocap. Mocap, okay. Thanks so much. Thank you, everyone! I'm gonna be in the show! <laughs> mocap. Mocap. Over the years, creature creators have used a lot of different technology to create their creatures, whether it's simple makeup or advanced animatronics. 
The original King Kong, did you know, was only about 18 inches tall. He was brought to life using a technique called stop motion. The same technique Steven Spielberg was going to use originally to create his dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. In stop motion, we take a model, we move it a little bit, shoot a frame of film, move it a little more, and another frame, so on and so forth, until it comes to life. However, director seeing it, Spielberg, well, he wanted his dinosaurs to look really real. So he opted to make Jurassic Park with a brand new visual effects technology known as computer-generated imagery of CGI, and the T-Rex ended up looking just like that. I mean, come on. Why do you gotta show a better T-Rex? <laughs> it's not me, man. It's, it's not me, bro. It's technology, right? It's always improving, and so creature creators are always looking for new ways to make their monsters look more believable. And that brings me to mocap. Well, what is mocap? Well, to help us demonstrate how it works, welcome back to show Jerry! Wow. <laughs> that is a mocap suit. It feels good. I thought he was Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Doc. So stop. Let's activate our senses for me, Eric. And go ahead, stand right here in the middle. Those are the red lights that you see coming up. Now, if you look at those markers, each one of those reflect light back to our sensors. And that goes into our computers so that we can capture each and every one of Jerry's movements. Can I, I see a capture? Great. And there it is. Now each one of those dots and one of markers represents a dot to get us started. The team goes to me, Jerry. The team goes. Yeah, okay, something like that. Just like that. Perfect. Now we do this to mark the beginning of each and every take when we're doing a shot like Jerry. This. Jerry, Matt! Oh, 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 Jerry! Oh, <laughs> we think everything you're doing can be seen on the giant screens behind you. I had an itchy. I don't care. <laughs> Take your right hand, touch uh, your tip of your nose for me. Okay, no problem. Great, now use your other right hand. Oh, wait, there's it. It's okay. You're doing great, bro. Uh, all right, you know what? Now that that's done, you know, just give me some general movements like jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Yeah, you're great. Uh, this isn't high tech, Matt. It's a stick figure. Well, I'm just getting started. With this technology, we're able to capture all of Jerry's movements, and we added the digital frame. <laughs> we added a wire skin. Last we paint on the skin to add some detail. We can turn Jerry's movements into anything. In this case, dude, we have turned you into a hideous amount of troll. Troll? Oh, yeah. Cool. are much better than the old ones. Oh, no, 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 we don't say old, Chris. We say... <laughs> See, practical special effects, they're in the shot. Visual effects happen to the shot. And to help us demonstrate how it works, welcome back to the stage, our final volunteers, everybody. Come on up here, guys. Because combining the special effects gives you a shot that is out of this world. It's our newlywed Charles and Laura, right here. Charles, stand on my side, face the audience. Yeah, hey, Laura, go ahead and stand up over here for me. There you go. And so you guys are going to stay close and pretend you're actually married to him. Now, how many? So you guys are just married, yeah? Yes. Awesome. And how long have you guys known each other? Uh, three and a half years. Three and a half oh, years. about time. Yeah, nice. Way to get on it. Fine. Come on, dude. How's it looking as astronaut outfit? Uh, really adorable. He's uh, also in the Air Force, so. Oh, right on. Oh, really adorable. Awesome. All right, well, you were dressed as an astronaut because you're going to help us shoot the final scene of a big sci-fi space epic we've been working on. Have you ever been to outer space? I have never been to outer space. Good, because if you said yes, you'd be crazy, and then I'd be worried for it. <laughs> now, we're going to combine all the practical and visual effects you've seen throughout the show by shooting our live astronaut jobs in front of our practical spaceship set piece located just upstage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to take that shot and combine it, composite it, with an HD image of Earth to give the illusion that Charles is floating high above the planet. Now, Charles, here's what's been going on so far. Earth was under attack by horrible space aliens, but you and your chiseled good looks went into outer space. You single-handedly defeated the aliens while posing the whole time. All the hard work is done. All you gotta do now is close that door, open the hatch, get inside, and zoom home to Morris Farms. 
Can you do it? I can do it. All right, let's go get a helmet on you because I forgot to grab one. All right, come on over here with me now. For the first time in three and a half years, you're in charge of the remote control. How's that sound? Pretty good. All right, yeah, I bet it does. Very good. This remote control controls Charles and operates our Fisher flying system. It's a high tech cable system. It helps keep the illusion of flight. These cables are very, very strong, and very stable. This control right here, I'll tell you how to work it. This green button will start everything. The other button will rotate. This throttle goes backwards and forwards. This will toggle it to go up and down. And this red button stops everything. And I'll be standing right beside you the whole time. I'll coach you through the whole thing. Sound good? Sounds great. Great. Charles, if you wait, listen to this scene because it takes place in outer space. So that's why you're in charge of the flying ring. Are you excited? Yeah, <laughs> she seems a little nervous. All right, Charles, you're about to blast off in outer space. Do you have any final words before you go? He says he loves you very much. What? Oh, okay, no, Charles. <laughs> they work for us, Charles. <laughs> Your first time in LA, isn't it? <laughs> Go ahead and sit down for me. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you guys ready over here? Yeah, we're ready over here. We're ready to go over here. So we're going to next. Day. All right, Eric, we're all set. So go ahead and press down and hold the green button for me, just like that. This will help activate the system. We're going to take them just about three feet up in the air. Hit the yellow button now. So we're going to rotate you towards your hatch door. Stay nice. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go, me, Charles. Time to fly on your own. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> Look at all right, everybody. Go take a look at the sides here. Bring out that composite for me, and you will now see all of our elements together. We're flying. We're flying above, but we have our Earth, we have our door, and we have a very stiff astronaut. <laughs> Someone starched the spacesuit. All right. Also, right is Earth. Charles, go ahead and wave to Earth. Wave to your home planet. There you go. Now wave goodbye because we're going to take that image out. Go back to the green screen for the shoot. We'll put that image back in later, obviously. But let's shoot for now, Captain Charles in space. Camera, speed, and action. Okay, now push forward on the front. All right, you're floating in space, Charles. That's great. There you go. You're going to push down on the gold bar, okay? There you go. Push it.